All right, hello folks. We're here at the bottom of the tower. I climbed down, as you can see, I got a little bit more experience. Because why the hell not, right? And let's go see Lord Dan. We got the two crystals, so let's see what the deal is. The two lights that rule the skies and earth come together and are reborn in this world through your diligence as Alora Danit. She will overthrow all the evil entities and turn their existence into nothing. That's rough. They've attained the crest of the spirits. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. This crest is priceless. It will protect the whole world. If this ever gets in the hands of Bam Morda and is destroyed, the power of the spirits will disappear and Bam Morda will be able to live forever. Willow, hurry and find Badmorda's castle, Nakmar, and with the strength of this crest, abolish the evil magic. Well. Uh. Lady, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do that, you know, because, like. Um, I mean, that was great we were able to do that particular task. But uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, guidance given as, now go here, jerk. And I feel like I missed out on a lot of swords. Because I feel like I should definitely not be using this fire sword anymore. Oh. Uh, I'm just kind of returning back to this cave. Um, what does the crest uh, exactly do for us, my friends? I don't know. Whoa. Sorry, I was not expecting uh, such a viscous attack. Or a vicious attack, even. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of noodle scratching here. I don't know how to find Nakmar exactly, like... Uh, hopefully there'll be some new path cleared for me since I uh, was sweet enough to uh, have the crest now. But I'm really at a loss at this point. No, come over here? No. Alright. Uninterested? Me too. Whoa! There's a guy who's not interested. He jumped right into it. He had no problem showing me what was what. I feel like I should have found that dragon scale already. Alright, let me go ahead and pause this. I actually have to find out where to go next. I have no idea. Alright, so I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, so I guess I should have figured this out, but they didn't really give us much indication. Apparently, Sorsha and the other dude got bored and just effed off and decided they didn't need to guard that or look for Mad Morgan. Or maybe they captured him. Who the heck knows? But the point is, they're not there anymore. Ow. And uh, apparently now we're going to go through a maze of the mountains, as they say. That guy should be easy, because all we have to do is stab him repeatedly unto death. Um, I'm hoping we get a new sword. I feel like we've missed out on a lot of swords. And I feel like we're not all that far off from the end of this game. As well. Uh, you know, which is great. But, uh... I'm actually really surprised. Because I thought this game was a lot longer. Yeah! Holy crap. That was a close one there. Those guys give us 30, which... Not a whole hell of a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, but then again, they're just floating skulls. There was no upgrades on the blobs. Ooh, they only take one hit. They're total to... Oh, crap! That's not what I wanted to do. At all. Ha! Oh. Oh. Ha! Yeah. Take me back to the bar. I thought I was using the healing mace. Holy crap, guys. All right, well, anyway, I would go ahead and skip this, but this will only take a moment anyway, so let's just go to the inn real quick, get our hit points back, which is what I was trying to do all along. At least we don't have to go through a long conversation here like we did have uh, two before when Mad Mart again and everybody else was around. All right, so, and the problem is you can't cancel uh, when Poe is like, I'll take anywhere you want to go. He will. And it doesn't matter if you say, no, that's okay, I changed my mind. He's like, no, you called me, we're going somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter to me where it is, but we're going somewhere. And unfortunately, everywhere he gives you as an option to go is somewhere I don't actually want to go. All right, let's see if I can... No, I can't really fake these guys out either. I just have to get freaking tromped by them. 
Which is lame. I don't understand how I would do that without getting hurt. I guess it's not that big of a deal. You gotta think that. Well, I'll be able to hold his breath to swim this far. Or at least he could swim. What is it with adventures and not being able to swim? You know? I mean, you're an adventurer for Pete's sake. I mean, heck, I knew how to swim when I was seven. And I get it, you know, they didn't have swimming pools. Uh, but, you know, they had lakes and rivers and stuff like that. I mean, when you... Maybe it's kind of... Maybe it's too cold for swimming. I don't know. Anyway, let me heal myself up. And also, let's go ahead and make sure I don't have the frickin' uh, whatever on right now. Ah, god dang it. Shouldn't be getting hit by twice by him. That's for sure. Um, I can just block his fireballs anyway. I probably should have just stood and, and uh... God dang it. They hit hard too. I think. But that's okay. I've got like a ton of magic, so... I'm not too worried about it. Especially if I meet up with any of those undead magic type monster dudes. Monster mashes. There we go. Cool. I do like it how this game gives you a stab and it gives you a swipe to a slash. That's pretty useful. Um, and yeah, you would see that in... Uh, Actually, I think you only slash. Whoa! Silver wasps! Okay. How much you give me? Come on! No? Don't want to do it? 50? Whoa, I almost got gored by that guy. And I did get gored by that guy. And those guys are tough. No, dead end, no. And the wasp are usually a, uh, a what's his name? Like a dungeon monster, you usually don't see them out of out of doors. Uh, that's all right. I'm fine with that. Lots of new monsters, uh, versions of monsters coming up on this. Well, that's a new area. I think trolls. Yeah, I think we can just wipe them in one. They're hard to control though, because they, their movements are a little bit more erratic than other monsters here. All right, let's see if I can block this. Yes. Yeah, only about four hits, and he's toast. Nice. So this is a maze, and it's annoying, but uh, that's all right. That whole thing made me feel like I went around a circle. I'm tempted to go right just because I don't want to fight this guy. It's going to take too many hits, it's going to be too annoying when they try to hit him from the top here. It's hard to see, and I feel like the pixel length is different, too. But, uh, what the hell do I know? It's not like I measured it. But anyway, this is another one of those areas where it's real generic looking. Ow! I gotta quit messing with those guys. It's just not advantageous for me to mess with them. You don't get that much experience from them, and they hit hard, like I said. I might as well just lay off. Hey, this looks promising. Is it promising? Well, let's find out. Whoa, ow. It's not that promising that you could completely stop paying attention to what's going on. Ouch. Again. Ah. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going backwards. I probably am too. No, that guy's different. Hey, let's get him real quick here. While we got the chance, right? God dang it. Where are you, little shit? Thanks for the experience. Or not experience, thanks for the magic. I'm gonna fill- Ah! I did it, I just went around a big circle. Just fine, whatever. I saw that wooden bridge and I felt like I was actually headed somewhere. New. Yeah, this, this all looks familiar, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, whoa, 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 I turned around and the- That, uh, that, uh, winked into, uh, what's his name? Uh, existence. You have a monster's bone. What am I supposed to do with that? Do I get the light of life too? Put this on your head and utter Spectre's magic word. This turns you into a monster. That's cool. I, I think it is. Yeah, you have to get past somebody with that, as I remember. That's cool to have your magic power refilled though. I'm pretty sure it's necessary to get past. 
a particular roadblock that we will see. Actually, I feel like I'm going somewhere new. I don't know if that's actually true. Fighting against these guys. Oh, jeez, they hit hard. I think it was 40, 40 points of damage there. These guys seem to just wink into existence. All right, so this is my landmark here from the uh, wooden bridge, which is something different. I'm hoping to find something. Ah! Okay, cool. And I got it lined up so I could just swing like an idiot. Anytime I can just swing and just run into my sword, I think is probably the best type of situation. What the hell are you supposed to be? You see that? I don't even remember that. And I figured I'd remember that from my childhood fighting the angry eyes. He's like the tree, except he's a mountain. <sighs> Am I getting somewhere or not? Probably not. That's okay. So yeah, we got some wooden bridges here. That's kind of nice. Aha! There it is. We got a shack somewhere. That's something, isn't it? Uh, Knockmar Castle, huh? I've never heard of it. I could teach you the strongest magic word in the world. You have the magic word of thunder. Well, that's great. Please stay and make yourself at home. Well, that's helpful. Um, so anyways, you don't know where Knockmar Castle is, which is fine. Hey, look at that. Heel ball. So the heel ball is the same thing as the heel mace, except it's stronger. Magic ball that returns your strength. And I figured it out. I want to use that from now on. So I don't think we could pass that chest. Which is a little bit hilarious. And also not funny at all and kind of stupid. It's like one of those contrivances of video games. I mean, they could have just put a barrier behind the chest to make it a little bit less infuriating. Because then you have to ask yourself, can I really not get past it? I think the answer is yes. So we kind of got to go up and around. And uh, I'm just happy we were able to wander around the jungle that long. And we actually found our way out. That's pretty cool. And we got refilled by the nice lady. And she taught us to work for thunder. And she also said she don't know where Knockmar Castle is. Lies! Or maybe not. The point is, we don't want to go to Nakmar yet. Or we can't go to Nakmar yet. Or something. Whoa, hello. God, why do I always get hit by that idiot? It's not like he's not, like, super predictable or anything. Okay, cool. See? See, I got a little bit of navigation going there. Alright. There you go. Come to my sword. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Can I not get up and around? Yeah. Ugh. Oh no, now I got both of them. Oh, now I only got one of them. Hey, jerk. Stab me right in the face, huh? Think you're funny? Think you're cute? Stabbing people in the face all day long? Is that is that how you get your kicks? Yeah, that is pretty strong there. Put me back up at max and I'm... Um, Okay, whoa, angry face. I don't want to go back up here. So I, I don't know if, how I can get to that cave that I was looking for. Or if I can get to that cave I was looking for. Alright, whatever. Doesn't matter. Aha, and here's back to the wooden bridge. And this should lead us to the old lady's house. And it doesn't, so that means I have no idea what I'm talking about. And let's go ahead and kill these guys right here. No problem. The only problem is these jerks get like way out of range. Thank you. But I, I mean, you can't really complain because they refill your magic. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if they drain their magic when they do their magic spells or whatever. Or whatever. Okay, this appears to be a different wooden bridge. Or is it? Hell if I know. Yeah, okay, then we're back to that hillbilly. Yes, alright. Alright, I, I know where I am. I gotta go back down again. Let me kill this guy for the EXPs. Thank you. 
Actually, I don't know if he actually gives us a respectable amount of experience. But anyway, yes, I have to go down to the old lady's house again. Down and over, right? Okay, down and left, maybe. Because it was before that. Jeez, I'd like to I'd like to kill those guys, but really I just wanna kinda get my bearings here. Because my bearings a little bit uh, frayed at this point. There we go. Alright, so we made it to the lady's house. So let's stay here real quick. And let me see if I can find any other points of interest. Did you see that cave up there? And then we haven't gone this way yet. Have we? I don't think there's anything we can do about that guy. Maybe magic will work on him, I'm not sure. But, uh... It's really not worth the effort to figure it out. Angry Mountain. What a goofy monster, huh? I've probably been here before, come to think of it. I'm just gonna swing my sword so you all kill yourselves upon it. Thank you very much, jerks. Anyway. Alright, well we're at like 13 minutes. And frankly, I've got to see where the hell I'm supposed to go. Uh, so thanks for watching. Check you later. Bye-bye.